time travel. It's something we've been fascinated with since the beginning of scientific research. For the most part, time travel is just a concept. But what if there have been subtle clues about time travelers throughout history that we've just failed to notice? From an 1860s painting featuring a phone to a woman holding a phone in a Charlie Chaplin film, here are 20 photos that can prove that time travel exists. Number 20. A time traveler featured in a painting. Ferdinand Georg Waldmuller, born in Vienna in 1793, was a prominent figure in the Austrian Biedermeier period. Those who were into art might even know about his pieces. Waldmuller was renowned specifically for his creations, which are often naturalistic paintings depicting the countryside or rural life. Now there's much to appreciate about Waldmuller's creations, but this time we'll focus on just one of his paintings, a piece known as The Expected One. It sounds like an ominous title, but this piece is quite lovely. This genre painting, true to the Biedermeier and Romantic styles, features a young woman walking along a path in a natural setting. It seems ordinary, but through the years, many have noticed something peculiar about this painting. Observe. In the painting, the woman appears to be holding a small object in her hand, which some have whimsically speculated to be an iPhone or a similar modern device. For reference, this piece was created in 1860. There's no way that a phone existed back then. Of course, the only explanation would be that this woman is a time traveler, or at least the person who became Waldmuller's muse for this piece came from the future. From afar, it really does look like this woman is holding a phone, right? She resembles someone who's walking while texting. However, others believe she's actually holding a prayer book, which isn't unusual at the time. Prayer book or a phone? I'll let you be the judge. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Lady on a Charlie Chaplin Set If you could time travel to the past, what would you bring with you? Well, if you ask these alleged time travelers, it seems like bringing your phone would be the most logical thing to do. Here's another woman from the future who seemed to have brought her phone with her as she traveled back to the late 1920s. This image first gained immense attention on the internet sometime in 2010. This curious photo is related to Charlie Chaplin's 1928 film, The Circus. Charlie Chaplin continues to be a well-known figure to this day, but he's not what caught the public's imagination in this film. A snapshot from the movie's Hollywood premiere featured a heavyset woman, appearing to be in her 60s or 70s, holding something to her face and talking. Now what could this possibly be? Naturally, this garnered a lot of attention from people, with many speculating that this woman might be a time traveler using a cell phone. However, the theory of time travel is contradicted by some skeptics. Some believe that there's a more plausible explanation, like, say, for instance, a hearing aid or a hearing trumpet. That's right, several skeptics of the time travel theory claim that the woman might just be using a hearing aid, also known as an ear trumpet. You can see that the instrument was compact and fit in the hand. The sight of her talking to herself wasn't so unusual either. At least, this is what skeptics say. Would you consider this bizarre? Number 18. Greta Thunberg Time Travel? Greta Thunberg. Sure, a lot of you already know who she is. Greta Thunberg is a well-known young activist. Born on January 3, 2003 in Stockholm, Sweden, Greta became a globally recognized environmental activist at a very young age. Her journey into activism started when she was only about eight years old. With that being said, Greta became the subject of a conspiracy a few years ago. Now, just take a look at this image. This is a 121-year-old photograph from the Klondike Gold Rush era. In this photo, you can see three children working at a mine, with one girl bearing a striking resemblance to Thunberg. This sparked a wave of playful speculation on social media that Thunberg might be a time traveler sent back to key historical moments to educate many to care for our environment. But again, skeptics have a different explanation. This photograph was originally taken by Swedish-American photographer Eric Hegg. While many acknowledge that the resemblance is uncanny, many claim that this image is a case of a historical doppelganger rather than proof of time travel. Even so, Many continue to insist that Greta is indeed a time traveler. I'll let you be the judge. Number 17. A Traveling Hipster Now, here's another question. If you get the chance to time travel, 
Would you consider wearing clothes that fit the time period you'd go to? Well, it seems like this guy didn't consider it. Take a look at this photo that was taken in 1941 during the reopening of the South Fork Bridge. Let's see if you can spot the odd one out in this video. See him yet? This man on the right. His attire, a modern-looking t-shirt, sunglasses, and hairstyle led many to speculate wildly that he might be a time traveler who had somehow found his way into the 1940s. This figure stood in stark contrast to the more traditionally dressed individuals surrounding him, giving rise to the nickname Time Traveling Hipster. But let's take a look at the possible logical explanations, shall we? Some claim that elements of this man's attire that seem anachronistic can be explained within the context of the 1940s. The sunglasses he wore, for example, were apparently not uncommon for the time. They were similar to styles that featured side shields for protection, which were available back then. The camera the man was holding also fueled the time travel theory, as it seemed too compact for the era. However, experts claim Kodak produced small cameras during that time, which could explain its presence in the photograph. The photo's authenticity, however, was confirmed by researchers from the Russian television network NTV, who visited the museum and verified that the photograph was genuine and had not been altered. Number 16. Cornwall Beach Here's another bizarre image that intrigued many. This photo was taken on a beach in Cornwall. It seems ordinary enough at first glance. In the 1940s, individuals sported attire that was notably distinct from what we commonly see in today's fashion landscape. However, the individual in this photo stands out more than the others. Right in the middle of the photograph is a man standing in a bizarre posture. He's clad in a brown suit, even though he's standing on the beach seemingly engrossed in whatever object he has in his hands. Many believe that this is actually a phone. The peculiar posture of the man, reminiscent of someone absorbed in their smartphone, fueled discussions and humorous theories online. Some social media users humorously dubbed him a texting time traveler. In contrast, others believe that the man is just doing something mundane, but can be easily taken out of context, like, for instance, winding a watch. However, despite the imaginative theories, there's no concrete evidence to suggest that the man in the photograph is a time traveler. Likewise, there's no evidence to dispute time traveling theories either. Number 15. 1930s Mural Here's another artwork that initially seems ordinary, until you look closer at it. The mural is the creation of Italian artist Umberto Romano in 1937, titled Mr. Pinchon and the Settling of Springfield. This mural was supposed to portray the arrival of settlers in Springfield in the 1620s. And yet, a curious detail captured the attention of many. You see, amidst the scene of early American life, there's a depiction of a Native American holding a small black rectangular object similar in shape to a modern iPhone. He also seems incredibly baffled by it. Of course, what could it be other than a smartphone, right? Some suggest that this mystery object is a clear sign of time travel. Perhaps one of those among the colonists who arrived was secretly a time traveler. Others, however, believe that rather than a phone, the Native American on the mural is actually holding a mirror. This could also explain his surprised expression. However, others firmly believe that rather than a mirror, the man is probably stumped by a small object that can show quirky images. Number 14. Astronaut in a 1600s Artwork Ever since we began studying ancient civilizations, we found artifacts that seem not to have any logical explanations. Now, what do I mean by that? Take the ancient Egyptian pyramids, for example. Many of them defied what we deemed possible to be done at the time. These structures seemed to be too perfect and sophisticated to be built at a time when machinery was non-existent. Artifacts like the Antikythera mechanism, an old gear that was said to be part of an ancient computer, also befuddled archaeologists for its complicated nature and sophistication. Along with this came the theories of ancient astronauts or aliens who had visited the great civilizations when they were building what would become the foundations of man. This sculpture in the Catedral Nueva of Salamanca, a 16th century Spanish cathedral, is one of the alleged pieces of evidence for this theory. In a part of this cathedral, you'll see what looks like an astronaut carved on a stone. This figure, complete with a spacesuit, tubes, and boots, truly looks like an astronaut. But how could this be possible when this creation was sculpted in the 1600s? Did someone observe a spaceman back then? 
Did someone or something share their knowledge with people living then? Or could this spaceman simply be a misinterpreted figure? Or perhaps even a hoax? Well, we can only speculate. Number 13. A Greek Laptop From phones, I guess one of the time travelers decided to bring something else for once. A laptop. Yes, a laptop. In the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California, is a fascinating ancient Greek statue titled Grave Nyskos of an Enthroned Woman with an Attendant. This piece dates back to around 1000 BC, and it depicts exactly as the name suggests, what seems to be a woman of high status with her attendant. The statue has captured the imagination of many due to what appears to be a laptop-like item in it. This item, shown being opened by a woman at a 90-degree angle, resembles modern laptops, and even seems to have holes that some have speculated could be USB ports. All right, let's think about this logically. In a day and age when we're all dependent on the internet, most modern tech is quite useless without Wi-Fi. That's just the reality. But perhaps a tech that can display images, process data, and keep records is already mind-boggling in 1000 BC. In fact, even a single light bulb connected to a small circuit would have blown their minds. But of course, this is just a humorous speculation as to why a time traveler would even bother showing a laptop to the ancient Greeks. If I get the chance, I'll probably just bring something smaller, like a laser pointer or a lighter. But let's dial back. Is there a logical explanation as to what this quote-unquote laptop really is? Well, some suggest that this is actually a shadow box. A shadow box was something used in funeral ceremonies by the ancient Greeks. Number 12. Sir Victor Goddard Sir Victor Goddard, a distinguished member of the Royal Air Force, had a career filled with remarkable achievements and mysterious experiences that bordered on the paranormal, so much so that he rose in prominence among paranormal communities. One of the most talked about incidents in Goddard's life occurred in 1935. As an experienced pilot, he undertook a routine flight from Andover, England to Edinburgh, Scotland. On this journey, he flew over the Drem Airfield in Scotland, noting its dilapidated state with vegetation overgrowing the tarmac and cattle grazing. However, the return flight from Edinburgh presented an entirely different scenario that would puzzle Goddard for years. Caught in a bizarre storm with yellow clouds and disorienting conditions, Goddard struggled to maintain control of his plane. When he finally emerged from this tempest, he flew over the Drem airfield again. But this time, the scene was drastically different. The previously abandoned airfield was now bustling with activity, pristine and operational, with mechanics in blue uniforms, a stark contrast to the brown attire he knew them to wear. The airfield housed yellow aircraft, including a monoplane design unfamiliar to Goddard, a sight not in line with the RAF's known inventory at the time. Time travel. Some believe that this experience proved that Goddard somehow, some way, entered a rift in time or space. Four years later, his seemingly preposterous observation was vindicated. The RAF reactivated the Drem airfield. The planes were indeed painted yellow, and the Miles M14 Magister, a new monoplane, became part of the fleet. Even the mechanics' overalls were changed to blue, aligning perfectly with Goddard's previous observations. Goddard's encounter at Drem was not his only brush with the unexplained. During World War I, he commanded a squadron where an air mechanic named Freddie Jackson tragically died. Following Jackson's funeral, the crew took a group photograph where Jackson's face eerily appeared in the photo. It was speculated that Jackson, not realizing he was dead, showed up for the photo as a matter of routine. These experiences profoundly influenced Goddard, leading him to delve into the paranormal and the unexplained. He firmly believed in phenomena beyond our current understanding of science and reality. In fact, his bizarre experiences even compelled him to write and lecture about unexplained phenomena. This includes the possibility of time travel, as detailed in his book, Flight Towards Reality. Number 11. Safety Not Guaranteed Wanted. Somebody to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. P.O. Box 322 Oakview, California 93022. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. Safety is not guaranteed. I've only done this once before. If you saw an ad like this, what would you do? Well, it's easy to dismiss it as a joke, but many believe that this ad, written in the 1997 issue of Backwoods Home Magazine, shows that someone actually figured out how to travel through time. But well, 
In today's time, is time travel even plausible? According to the theory of relativity, time travel to the future is theoretically possible. This is based on the idea that time passes at different rates in different gravitational fields, a phenomenon known as time dilation. For instance, clocks on satellites orbiting Earth run slightly faster than those on the planet due to the weaker gravitational pull in orbit. It is possible, however, that it could very well just be a one-way ticket to the future. This is because, according to current scientific understanding, traveling back in time presents numerous paradoxes and inconsistencies with the laws of physics as we understand them today. Well, given that we are yet to have a breakthrough in the realm of physics, perhaps there's a loophole that will allow us to time travel, and we're just yet to discover it. Number 10. The Philadelphia Experiment The Philadelphia Experiment is among the most mysterious and controversial projects. To this day, it continues to be the center of conspiracies. But what exactly is it? It all began in October 1943. At the time, it was said that the U.S. Navy destroyer USS Eldridge was used as part of a top-secret experiment at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard. The story goes that this experiment, fueled by Einstein's theoretical physics, aimed to render the ship invisible. However, when the experiment was conducted, the ship didn't simply become invisible. According to stories, the ship not only vanished, but teleported from Philadelphia to Norfolk and back again, with bizarre and horrific consequences for the crew, such as insanity, burns, and even some being fused with the ship itself. Carl M. Allen, also known as Carlos Miguel Allende, claimed to have witnessed this event. Allende sent a series of letters to Morris K. Jessup, an author and UFO researcher, critiquing Jessup's understanding of unified field theory and offered his own eyewitness account as proof. Despite Allende's vivid descriptions, however, his claims lacked physical evidence and were inconsistent. Jessup's book, The Case for the UFO, which discussed extraterrestrial technology, was then sent to the Office of Naval Research with annotations linking it to the Philadelphia experiment. These annotations, supposedly by different individuals, including an alien, fueled the conspiracy theory further despite Jessup's belief that they were all written by Allende. The narrative was further embellished over the years through various books and a 1984 movie adaptation. The ONR, for reasons unknown, even published copies of the annotated book, adding fuel to the speculative fire. However, a more mundane explanation exists. Edward Dudgeon, who served in the Navy during the same period, associated the story with degaussing experiments to make the ship undetectable to magnetic torpedoes not invisible. He explained the greenish glow as possibly St. Elmo's fire, a weather phenomenon, and the ship's quick travel between ports due to using inland canals. And yet, despite these debunkings, the story of the Philadelphia experiment persists as evidence proving the possibility of time travel. Number 9. Andrew Basiago Andrew Basiago. If you like reading conspiracies, then you might already be familiar with his name. Basiago claims that as a child, he was part of Project Pegasus, a secret U.S. government program working on teleportation and time travel under the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. He claimed that in 1863, he was present on the day of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. He allegedly traveled there via a plasma confinement chamber in 1972 and even offered this photograph as proof of his journey. In this image, he identifies himself as a boy wearing oversized shoes, claiming his original pair vanished during his time travel. A well-thought hoax? Or nothing but a baseless claim? Well, I'll let you be the judge. Number 8. John Titor A name that might remain forever intertwined with time travel. John Titor. Emerging in the late 1990s and early 2000s, Titor claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2036, with internet forums being his primary way to share his stories with detailed descriptions of time travel and dire predictions for the future. His narrative was quite compelling, and he had persuasive scientific explanations. According to Titer, he was sent back to 1975 to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer, which was crucial for solving a specific problem in the future. He explained the necessity of this particular model due to its unique ability to decipher specific codes. And this is true. After all, the IBM 5100 did have a unique function that wasn't widely known then. 
Titer's predictions about the future were grim and dramatic. He foresaw a second American Civil War in 2004, escalating into a global conflict by 2015. He described a narrative of a fractured United States, environmental devastation, and a society radically different from what we know. His depiction of the future was quite dystopian, to say the least. Despite the detailed nature of his story and his ability to hold his own against skeptical physicists, doubts about Titer's authenticity grew. No definitive records of a person named John Titer were found to this day. And what's more, his detailed predictions did not materialize as he claimed. Some people, however, continue to believe John Titer, claiming that perhaps he altered time and changed the course of events because of his predictions. I'll let you be the judge again on this one. Number 7. World Cup 1962 During the final match where Brazil triumphed over Czechoslovakia, a peculiar image was captured. The moment when Brazilian captain Mauro Ramos lifted the Jules Rimet trophy amidst a sea of reporters and photographers is considered iconic, not only because of its significance in sports history. If you look closely, one individual among the reporters appears to be holding what resembles a modern flip phone a device not invented until decades later in 1989. This detail fueled speculation and conspiracy theories suggesting evidence of time travel. However, some believe this so-called flip phone is a handheld box camera, a popular photography tool of the time. These box cameras were simple in design, with a lens on one end and film on the other, and their shape could easily be mistaken for a flip phone when held in a particular way. Number 6 phone featured in a 350-year-old painting. Pieter de Hoog, a Dutch Golden Age painter known for his domestic scenes, created this artwork in 1670. The painting in question, intriguingly named Young Woman with a Letter and a Messenger, features a man extending an object towards a seated woman. This object, due to its peculiar resemblance to a modern iPhone, has sparked a flurry of internet speculation and amusement. This quirky observation even caught the attention of Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, during his visit to the Rijksmuseum Art Gallery in Amsterdam in 2016. Cook humorously remarked that he wasn't so sure anymore about who invented the iPhone, jesting about the painting's uncanny inclusion of an iPhone-like object. However, the title of the painting itself gives away the true meaning of the object. It's likely just an envelope. The positioning of the item in the man's hand and how he holds it out in front of himself strikingly resembles how we interact with smartphones today, leading many to believe that this is indeed a phone rather than an ordinary envelope. Number 5. A Wartime Visitor Captured in 1943, this image shows a street scene bustling with locals and U.S. soldiers. The focal point of the intrigue is a man who appears to be speaking into a device strikingly similar to a modern mobile phone. This bizarre detail has led some to speculate about the possibility of time travel, with theories suggesting that this individual could be a visitor from the future. Some people humorously suggested that the mobile phone either had been invented in Iceland or that Icelanders were unusually quick to adopt new trends. The discussion gained further attention when a well-known Icelandic musician, Bobby Morthens, humorously suggested that the photograph was indeed proof of time travel. This led to a poll conducted by the local newspaper with most respondents humorously implying that the man was picking his ear rather than speaking into a phone. While the photograph has captured the imagination of many, the more likely explanation is that it's a case of mistaken identity or misinterpretation of the object in the man's hand. Or is it? Number 4. Nicholas Cage's 1800s Doppelganger Now here's a pretty humorous claim. Nicholas Cage has been at the center of a particularly intriguing case, a photograph discovered online depicted a man from the 1800s who bore an uncanny resemblance to the famous actor. This doppelganger, identified as Ferdinand Maximilian Joseph, who later became Emperor Maximilian of Mexico, shared strikingly similar facial features with Cage. This discovery led to playful speculations about Cage being a time traveler, or more humorously, being related to a former emperor of Mexico. Despite the amusement this theory generated, the more logical explanation lies in the phenomena of doppelgangers, people unrelated but bearing a strong physical resemblance to each other. The photograph first appeared on eBay in 2011 with a hefty price tag of $1 million, accompanied by a tongue-in-cheek claim that Cage is a vampire, given his likeness to the figure from the past. Nicolas Cage addressed this rumor, 
denying any connection to the mysterious man in the photograph, but acknowledging their resemblance. Number 3. The Large Hadron Collider Also known as the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, nestled underground near Geneva, Switzerland, is nothing short of a scientific marvel. But what is it exactly? Well, you can think of it as a massive racetrack where tiny particles, smaller than atoms, are sped up to nearly the speed of light and smashed together. These high-speed collisions help scientists understand the fundamental building blocks of our universe. And many believe this could be the first time machine ever invented. Some physicists, like Tom Wheeler or Chui Man Ho, have hypothesized that the LHC might do something extraordinary. It could potentially send certain particles back in time. This idea is based on theories from the world of quantum physics and M-theory, which suggest that our universe might have more dimensions than the ones we can see and feel. M-theory is like trying to solve a massive puzzle of the universe, suggesting there could be up to 11 dimensions, not just the four that we know today, which are width, length, height, and time. The LHC in this theory might be able to make particles called Higgs singlets pop into these extra dimensions and travel through time. However, there's still a substantial distance to go in proving this theory. For now, the LHC cannot send objects back in time, much less a person. Although the LHC opens a lot of windows for speculation and possibility. Number 2. Turkic Seamstress Mummy In April 2016, Archaeologists from the Cobb Museum in Mongolia's Altai Mountains uncovered the remains of an ancient female mummy, thanks to local herdsmen who alerted them to the burial site. Believed to be a Turkic seamstress who lived around 1,100 years ago, she's notable for her chic knee-high felt boots. These distinctive footwear choices, featuring brown leather around the calf and black leather with three iconic red stripes on the foot's top, bear a striking resemblance to contemporary Adidas shoes. What adds to the intrigue is the inclusion of a buckle and strap system, providing additional support. The uncanny similarity between her ancient footwear and modern Adidas designs is indeed remarkable. This intriguing find led to a lot of speculation online, with some humorously suggesting that the mummy was a time traveler who had somehow brought back a pair of contemporary shoes to ancient times. The mummy was also found with various artifacts, including a saddle, bridle, clay vase, wooden bowl, iron kettle, and multiple changes of clothes, indicating the richness of Turkic culture and craftsmanship. Adidas? Or just incredibly well-made footwear? Well, I guess we'll continue to speculate. And now it's time for today's topic. The time traveler from 2050 reveals a shocking photograph. Aliens. We've wondered what aliens and extraterrestrial creatures truly look like. Well, this might be their true form. You're looking at a photo that was posted on an online forum. The caption says 2050. The author behind the post chose to remain anonymous. However, he didn't skimp out on divulging information about what happened in 2050. According to him, in 2050, the world will be much different than what we see today. In the next decades, humans will undergo insane technological advancement. This will be the catalyst of our connection to other creatures in the universe that we failed to contact before. This photo shows one of these creatures, or at least, that's what the user claims. Despite many claiming that this is just a hoax or an online urban legend, conspiracists assert that the anonymous person's claim could be valid. Number 1. Glorification of the Eucharist In the quaint town of Montalcino, Italy, within the walls of the San Lorenzo and San Pietro Church, hangs a curious painting that has stirred the imaginations of many. The Glorification of the Eucharist painted around 1600 by Ventura Selimbeni, is a remarkable work in its own right. However, it's not just the religious imagery that captures the eye. It also allegedly proves the possibility of time travel. At first glance, the object in question resembles what many would recognize as a satellite, specifically Sputnik 1, the first artificial Earth satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. This peculiar feature led some to playfully speculate about time travel wondering how a 17th-century artist could have depicted something so distinctively modern. So which of these photographs do you think is the most intriguing? Did any of these convince you that time travel is indeed possible? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.